consider themselves to be caught. There are matters which if you look at the Powers and Privileges Act, sometimes we almost sit as a court to summon people to come before us. And therefore, Mr. Speaker, sir, I, am, I want to put this very boldly, very, very boldly, that in the eyes of the people of Kenya, the President of the Republic of Kenya, Israel Amolo Odinga. In, in the eyes of the Electoral Commission, in the words of the Chairman of that Commission, he does not know who the President of the Republic of Kenya is. So it's a matter which, Mr. Speaker, sir, you cannot close your eyes to, particularly if you want us to swear allegiance to the President. Do I swear allegiance to Honorable Rai Lodinga, or do I swear allegiance to Honorable Mwai Kibati? And as far as I'm concerned, I was there at the telling. Honorable Mwai Kibati lost elections by nearly half a million votes. I don't know. I know, I know on the other side. No, no, you can't. You, I'm on a point of order. You got to learn your rules again. Yeah. I'm just about to, to finish my point of order. The member is on a point of order. Yes. Please yes. You can have your time. I don't know why he's feeling so, so edgy. And he's an old member of this house. Yeah. So, what, what I'm saying, what I'm saying, or trying to say, is a grave constitutional matter. You, you are, you, Mr. Speaker, sir, you would, you would, you would take account of the fact that in Uganda, when there is contestation as to who is the president, and for example,